y'all. It is Thursday. It is hot, hot, hot here. It says 84, but I think it's way hotter than any 84 degrees. It's miserable. Um, I've already been out. I went out to the garden. I'll show you my blueberries I picked a little bit ago. I had to pick some blueberries. Um, I had to get rid of some peanuts. We try not to feed the squirrels anymore because um, they eat our house and they're awful. Like they'll just hang around. And um, so they eat our house. They pee on our handrails. Hey, sweet man, lock home dad zone. Um, they're terrible. They're such a nuisance. They're definitely a rat and they're so cute though. And I was telling one of the ladies earlier in my post um, that the previous owner told us when he, um, when we bought the house that he would sit outside with a BB gun and shoot the squirrels. And we're like, oh, why would you do that? Now we're like, Hmm, maybe that's not so bad of an idea. They're awful. So we try not to encourage them around our home. Um, there's days I wake up and I hear them chewing on the outside of the house. I mean, it's just, they're really, it's such a nuisance. Um, so I had some peanuts that we had had in the bedroom and we were like, um, we, you know, put a couple out every once in a while and mm -mm, I ain't putting any out in years. So I, uh, brought the container out and threw them out in our wetland area so the raccoons and everything can get them. But it's like, yeah, they ain't getting no more food from me. We even had a bird feeder, which I love. I love having the bird feeder. And um, the squirrels, no matter if it's squirrel proof or not, man, they, they find a way to get on it. So it's been like a pain. So um, I did that and um, brought out the baby some fresh water. I actually did something fun. I'll have to do it again because I didn't realize how fun it was going to be. I'll have to um, do it again for you guys on video, but I filled up their water. It's hot, you know, so I filled up their water in the um, run and I put ice in it and on top of the ice I sprinkled mealworms and they were going crazy over it. So it was just so funny. So that way I knew they were getting like, you know, enough water because they're, they had turned over that water and the other water was dry um, when I came out. So I wanted to make sure they got enough water and they were just, it was so funny. It was really super cute. So um, let's get in here and let me finish up cleaning up in here. So I've already done the water. Um, <clears throat> I've already scraped their board. I just got to get a couple of things up from in here. So um, I've been in the house cleaning this morning. Um, it's been hard to do like a deep cleaning while the babies were here. Um, Cause you know, they're babies and they're having fun and all that good stuff. And plus we were keeping them up in our, <clears throat> excuse me, in our bedroom because um, we have a spare room downstairs, but you know, we want the babies where we can, if anything were to happen, we can immediately get to them. And it's so different when they're in your care. Like you don't want anything at all happening to them. Little Miss woke up one night choking. Um, she had a cough at night, mom and dad had said, and that was the only night she did it too. And so sure enough, that night she woke up about 1130 and she was coughing so bad that she was starting to choke on saliva. And um, so I was like, before I started the Heimlich, I'm like, breathe, breathe for Glammy, breathe. And she finally let loose a breath and I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Because that was like scary. But that was the only, you know, real moment we had, but we didn't want him to wake up and you know, be confused where they were and end up falling down or upstairs. And so we just kept them. We have these little foldable, these cute little foldable cots we got and they love it. They think that is the coolest thing ever that they get to sleep in these little foldable cots. And um, so we had those that we kept beside our bed. And so that was really super nice to have that. It's super convenient. And then they fold up and we put them underneath the spare bedroom bed when they're not using them. So it works out really good. But we, you know, during the day of course and at night while they were here, we kept them all. And in our bedroom, unfortunately, because our house isn't huge, um, it's technically only a two bedroom. Our office, but our bedroom's pretty good size. Um, our offices, mine is on the landing of our house, which is pretty small. It's maybe like four by eight. And then um, we have a, two alcoves, like the dog ears in our bedroom. And Log Home Dad has his office in one of the alcoves there. And um, so we, that's where we kind of do all of our work. So, and Log Home Dad is not, is he still on? He is not a tidy person. He just puts stuff everywhere. He don't find a place for things. He's on Amy. He's going to be mad at me now. He's not a tidy person. He'll admit it though. He, it's so funny. 
because we do carpet upholstery tile cleaning, but we also do water damage restoration. That man has the cleanest job sites I've ever seen. Don't go in his truck or his office area. And the, he he's so lucky though. Like he has this little fairy that comes out and cleans his nightstand and like disappears. It, he's just, I mean like that little fairy loves him. He thinks that is the coolest thing. So we had to make sure he picked up his stuff so the babies didn't get into any of it. And uh, well, but with all, all joking aside, we don't have a ton of storage. He's all, he, he, we don't have a ton of storage. Um, like we don't have a linen closet. We don't, there's no closets in the bathrooms. Um, there's a closet in the spare bedroom and then our closets aren't very big in our bedroom, but there are no other closets in the house. There's no storage. There's no, so everything we have is like, you know, dressers, chest, um, stuff like that. So we do not have a lot of storage. So I need to work on that for him. He's going to be home in a minute. He's going to be like, you've been talking about my messiness. Yes, sir. I have. You need to clean it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'm almost done here. I think I got one more scoop. Y'all made a mess for me. What you doing making such messes? So anyway, I've been cleaning today. I've been um, vacuuming, doing laundry, and our golden, she, man, she sheds like there's no tomorrow. And so wherever she lays, she lays beside on lock home dad's side of the bed, and then she lay, likes to lay at the top of the stairs and the bottom of the stairs. So those places are like full of her little beautiful golden retriever hair. All right, let me set this outside. I see y'all. I see you. I see you. I see y'all. All right. Let's see what we got. I probably don't have a lot in the way of eggs today because um, yesterday we had so many and I was out here a little. I'm going to quiz y'all one day on how many hours it takes a chicken to lay an egg and how many, how long. Hey, Christy. Hey, Faye. <laughs> How, hey, Miss Gail. Miss Gail, you better be taking it easy, Missy. Um, and how long it takes them to produce the pigment in their bodies. Oh, we got two this morning, this afternoon. What is it, afternoon? So, um, I'm going to give you all a quiz one day. I see you, Miss Rosie. I see you. What do you want? Mm. This is Mama. What do you got for me? Okay, you're going to have to get down. Get down, Miss Rosie Posey. Are you wanting it? Hard. All right, there we go. All right, let's get them their goodies. So I went and picked, Log Home Dad made this awesome contraption where I finally out of ever have blueberries. Look, I went and picked some blueberries. I'm eating those for lunch. Um, but doggone, it's hard to get in them, especially alone. Cause that, that little, um, it's pretty heavy. So, but we're producing um, blueberries finally because the rabbits and the squirrels and the birds like to eat my blueberries. I've probably not had that many all the time we've had the blueberry plants. I see you. Okay, okay. There we go. Hey, Danielle. Across the pond. Look at them. Blueberry jam, that's right, girl. You know all about that, don't you? Oh my goodness, I almost ended my video. Hey, Mr. Mosley. <laughs> so it is hot today. So I'm gonna go in and finish up my um, cleaning, eat my lunch, and then I've got a bunch of business stuff to do on my computer, which I'm not looking forward to. But I'm going to get that done today. Hey, Mr. Mosley. So that looks like they ate all their worms over there. It's so funny seeing them. I'll have to do that again for y'all so you can see them. Hey, fluffy butt. Look at fluffy butts. I see fluffy butts. They're so cute. Crazy male blueberries if they were candy. Oh, my goodness. We took the baby's blueberry picking the other day. And they were eating them like crazy. Little Miss, we come home. She must have filled up that bowl four or five times. We finally had to stop her. So 
Um, that was just a couple days before she went home, so I'm sure it's been fun at their house deer and potty time because that was a lot of blueberries she ate and I love them I put them in the freezer and um, so that way I can pop them out to do jam or whatever but I also love them in the freezer and then pop them out and put them in my yogurt and oh gosh they just they're they are they're like candy Look at them. they're going crazy can't carry that piece away can you can't carry that one away all right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get inside. I am sweating. And uh, local mom does not like to perspire unless I am at the ocean. And I can't be at the ocean. Man, I'm still a little burnt. I got in the shower today and I had to turn that water on cold. I still got a couple areas on me that's a little burnt. I should be okay by tomorrow. So I'll be ready for the ocean again this weekend. You hear that, local dad? You ready for another fishing trip? So we had his pompano last night. He was so stinking excited. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go, and uh, <laughs> look at her laying on the ground eating that corn, getting in there. Like, that is so funny. So, I'm going to let y'all go, and we will see you tomorrow right back here. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. Love ya.